Well, this is just a shockingly vulgar display of power. What else can you call it? Here's the headline. Trump says, Mar-a-Lago home in Florida under siege by FBI agents. Trump likened the reported siege to what occurs in third world countries. Trump said, quote, nothing like this has ever happened to a president of the United States before. After working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. It is prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to run for president in 2024, especially based on recent polls, and who will likewise do anything to stop Republicans and conservatives in the upcoming midterm elections. And who can say at this point that he's wrong, honestly? You had the absurd Russia collusion stuff, the P-tapes, the absurd impeachments. You've got the bizarre January 6 hearings. And now they're just raiding his home. I mean, if they had a hundredth of 1% of what they claim to have on this man, it would be obvious by now. And look, they know they're not going to intimidate Trump. So they're trying to railroad him. That's what they've been doing the whole time. They just seem desperate to prevent Trump from becoming president again. And really, is it just about protecting the World Economic Forum globalist green agenda? Because by now they realize people really don't want what they're selling. And they're terrified of somebody taking power again who who's going to dismantle the insane policies. Anyway, Trump continued, uh, such an assault could only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has now become one of those countries, corrupt at a level not seen before. And Trump is alleging that the FBI broke into his safe. And this really does look corrupt, doesn't it? I have to say, I, I fear for the United States. And by extension, I fear for the rest of the world, because if the U.S. goes down, that's really bad news for everybody. Because, you know, they say that when America sneezes, the rest of the world catches a cold, right? Well, what happens when the U.S. just collapses? Anyway, it says here a source familiar told Fox News, and I hate it when they use familiar, a source familiar. You know, sources familiar with this or that, it really means nothing these days. But anyway, uh, told Fox News that the raid occurred early this morning. The source said agents brought a safe cracker and cracked a relatively new safe in Mar-a-Lago. The source told Fox News there was nothing in it. Uh, multiple sources tell Fox News that the FBI's raid of Mar-a-Lago is related to materials Trump allegedly brought to his private residence after his presidency concluded. The matter was referred to the Justice Department by the National Archives and Records Administration, which said it found classified material in 15 boxes at the residence. Federal law bars the removal of classified documents to unauthorized locations, though it is possible that Trump could try to argue that, as president, he was the ultimate declassification authority. Here's another source familiar that told Fox News that FBI agents went to Mar-a-Lago and looked in every single office safe and grabbed documents and boxes without going through them on the property. They took boxes and documents to go through them later. They were not being judicious about what they took. Uh, Christy Noam said of this that uh, the FBI raid on President Trump's home is an unprecedented political weaponization of the Justice Department. They've been after President Trump as a candidate, as president, and now as a former president. Using the criminal justice system in this manner is un-American. And yeah, I mean, the thing is, this isn't just happening out of nowhere. Like, it has been constant as candidate, as president, as former president. It's been nonstop. Yeah, they are desperate to keep Trump from getting back in office. And why? Well, what was the first thing that Biden did when he got into office? Immediately canceled the Keystone Pipeline, which is something you'd do if you, you know, wanted rising gas prices. They halted construction on the border wall, which is something you'd do if you wanted more illegal immigrants. Although now they've been, I guess, embarrassed into having to finish at least sections of it. He shut down the China-focused anti-espionage program, which it seems like uh, the only people who would think that this was a swell idea would be I don't know, the Chinese Communist Party. And that's just like three things. And none of these things are in the interest of the United States. It's very weird. 
And, you know, I get the feeling it's not just about Trump. It's about anybody who would follow in Trump's footsteps. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. It makes a big difference when people share my content. Thank you for that. I will see you next time.